We're working in Calculus 1, the preliminaries. This is question 4C from homework number 3. The solution for this problem is negative 5.5 for your average rate of change. So let's go ahead and see how we get that value. So we're looking for the average rate of change between negative 3 and negative 2.5. So if we sketch out a graph of this guy, I uh, don't really like that. Let's try it again. So this is our x squared function. We'll locate negative 3 and negative 2.5. And so we'll figure out the height values of those guys. So these are the two points that we're concerned with. So this guy is at negative 3, positive 9. And this guy's at negative 2.5. And then, of course, we got to square that guy, which looks like a 6.25. Now let's go ahead and draw in our secant line. And there it is. And so when we're looking for an average rate of change between two points, we're looking for the slope of the line that contains those two points. That tells us how one variable is changing with respect to another. So when we calculate the slope, we've got 9 minus 6.25 over negative 3 minus a negative 2.5. So for our numerator, if we do that that computation out, we end up with 2.75 and our denominator is going to be negative 0.5 and so that will give us a value of negative 5.5 and that, my friends, is the slope of that line, which is the average rate of change.